Cricket Zombie. Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to introduce my house, which is located in a small hamlet in the coastal area. There was a person next to my house. I called that person Madam Lee. It's afternoon, and I came to greet her as usual. How are you? Have you eaten yet, ma'am? Madam Lee work as a fortune teller. I heard from one of my aunts that this old lady once had a daughter who died. I don't know, but rumor said that this girl's soul has entered into her mother's body. So many people came to ask for the lottery number, got it, and won it. They bought her gifts, and gifts is the appreciation. My house near the madam's house, it's actually less than 10 steps. So every time someone comes to seek her sight with their faith, I've seen with my own eyes the scenes where she casts a shadow or calls people's fortune. There was a time when I saw Madame Lee finish lighting the incense. She completely changed into a different person. She's not under 50 years old, but after a swallow on her own face, suddenly she looked like a girl. Of course, this girl is not the picture, but from the way she spoke, the way she walked, the voices, she was like a completely different girl until one day, I remember, it was many years ago. The news is that around 2011, I studied at school until noon, and then my neighborhood showed up, her body just rode her bike up. When she saw me, she said, hey, come on, I'll take you home. I replied that you should go pick up your sister. Yes, she replied, I'm coming to pick you up, not my sister. It's been a while since I first noticed this little girl's strange behavior. Why is it so strange today? Well, then I'm on her mini bike and she asked, did you know something? I don't know anything. Yes, she just said that Madame Lee died. When I heard that, I even costed her and immediately said to her, are you crazy? When I went to school this morning, I also saw Madame was sweeping the yard. Yes, she argued back. She said that the old lady was really dead. Madame Lee was electrocuted to death. You don't believe it, but when you see it, you'll know right away. It's true. When I got home, I saw a lot of cars gathered there. I saw my father coming from Madame Lee's house. I asked what my father, is she dead? My father replied, yay. She was electrocuted to death. After hearing my father like that, I really realized I put my bag down, ran to Madame Lee's house to see what happened. What's the matter? She's dead. Real dead. But the face of the old lady isn't green like when people die, their faces turn pale like they've run out of blood, and now her face, still rosy, for it to look like a normal person. Should I ask Uncle Harry? Uncle Harry is Madame Lee's child. Please tell me what happened. Why did she die? Uncle Harry tell me that when his mother cooks rice, she holds that electrical cord, that electrical plug, put at the electrical output, as for the other side. It's sticking out and then immediately plus keep it tied up. Plug the power plug back in and touched her hand, leading to electrocuted and dying. Yes, but in the neighborhood, everyone knows that Madame Lise usually goes out to eat and drink, rarely cooks at her house. Why did she only cook it in the house today? So people suspected that perhaps Ghost made her did that, so she was electrocuted to death. Maybe so many ritual was done in her house. Madame Lee's mother put a hexagram up and asked Shadowy if it's true that her daughter died because of evil forcing her. Dia's answer, yes. After that, the second daughter being entered the spirit and said it was because she was rude and refused to pay, so now those people are forcing her to go. It was some kind of ritual that Madame Lee performed once per three years. Maybe this year she's forgot, so she'll probably be taken away. Then Madame Lee's mother casted the coin, asked if any god or evil can bring her daughter back to life. If it can be done, she will bring gift that was mistaken before. The answer is yes. But the thing is that she died from the time people discovered that she was electrocuted, which was 9 o'clock and until 3 o'clock. The card reappeared, indicating that they would be resurrected. But it's also unlikely because it has been more than six hours since her dead. At times, many family members were waiting for not just family members, everyone around is waiting. Yes, because the card says that around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so everyone waits for that moment at 3 o'clock until 3 o'clock, everyone turned around Madame Lee to see if she was alive again. She was lying still. 
But something happened to her that when everyone saw that, all being pondered and thought. When she died, her two eyes were closed, but when it was three o'clock, suddenly her left eye slowly opened and squeaked even closer. Her mouth normally close, but now her mouth is smiling. Isn't she opening her mouth to smile? It's just a slight click of her lips, like her eyes slowly opening up. Until three and a half, nothing happened anymore. At that time, Madame Lee's face looked like she was sleeping, but very cheerful. It's time to do the shroud ritual for her, so I just know that she'll probably come back to see if there are any of her descendants. She must have been happy, so she smiled like that. When we finished the ritual and bring her back to the box, her little bro suddenly saw a puddle of blood under her back. Where did the blood come from? She died because she was electrocuted, not stabbed or slashed. Moreover, while her family changing her clothes, there were no visible wounds on her body. So what happened now? Everybody's confused. Some people even thought it was probably because she was menstruating, so the blood flowed out very thinly. Mrs. Harry say that her mother-in-law has stopped menstruating for a long time. Everybody's still wondering, why is that? People looked at the calendar to check that it wasn't good time. So they only let her have one night and one day and had to bury her immediately. Three days later, the day the door was opened, my mother said she saw Madame Lee. It was about 11 o'clock at night. As usual that when she finished watching the movie, it was time for my mother to go to bed. When she just lay down. As I drifted off to sleep, her spine suddenly felt cold, her whole body was shaking, but the thing was, she was just kind of felt asleep and not yet fully asleep when she saw Madame Lee go from the main door of our house, sat down on the chair and talked to my mother like a normal person, just like she did it every day before. My mom asked, where did you go? I haven't seen you in a few days. She did ask intentionally, in fact, she already knew that Madame Lee was dead, but didn't dare to say. After asking that question, Madame Lee replied that she was going out, but I wasn't there yet. My parent kept asking, why hasn't you gone yet and go where? I was prisoned by a candle glass. Then she described the shape of that glass to my mom. Mom asked her why she's so skinny. She told that she was beaten. Who? Someone attached me, hit me turn by turn. But because I'm vegetarian, so the attack was not that hard. My mom said Madame Lee talked to mom a lot, but mom forgot everything almost. At that moment, there was Madame Lee's daughter-in-law passed by. My mother called back and asked her if there were any round candles in Fear House. Miss Julie answered, there were two candles on my mother's altar. My mom continued, now where are those two candles? I burned them all and then thrown into river area. After hearing this, the conversation fell into silence for a while. Then my mom decided to told the story about the candle glass to Julie. One hour later, Miss Julie went to the canal to look for the glass, but she couldn't find it until her husband came down to look for it, and it was right in the same place that Julie was looking for, but she couldn't find it. But her husband found something very strange. Two of those candles, one is normal and the other is black. They still can be light up. There are a lot of stories about this woman. A, a lot.